Hi there. My name is Jane Stern and I'm the Marketing Director for iGel Technology. And I'm going to take a few minutes to talk to you today about who iGel are and how we can help you. So first of all, I want to take you back. If, if you're like me and you got your first job in the late 90s, early 2000s, you'll probably remember this bad boy. It's a Blackberry. This phone was the Swiss Army knife to that era's workforce. And most IT teams encompassed it into their operational delivery. Then in 2007, a true moment of disruption happened. The iPhone was released. And although it looked very sexy, technically it didn't really do the job of the BlackBerry. However, modern executives wanted to use it for their work and how the consumer push meant IT teams needed to work around it and adapt so that the iPhone could be part of their business. It soon became the phone of choice. The reason I bring this up is that companies would like you to believe that innovation happens in some garage in California. But in fact, innovation comes from the end user. The consumerization of IT is shaping how we work all the time. And the user experience, the securing of user endpoints, and managing end user computing has never been more important. Because the end user paradigm is shifting at a rate we've never seen. If a year ago I were to ask all the IT people watching this presentation today that we needed to immediately send 80% of your organization's workforce to work remotely from home, you might have had some choice words to say to me. But at the same time, those IT people were able to prime 18 months of digital transformation into around three weeks. Fair to say that not all heroes wear capes and it shifted the way the business has thought of IT forever. So what's this got to do with iGel, you might be thinking? Well, the center point is around disruption. We heard about how the iPhone disrupted the market and how this pandemic has definitely disrupted the world. iGel is proud to be disrupting the end user computing market because iGel helps to offer you a seamless user experience alongside your cloud services, but removes a lot of the pain that can come with it. It'll save you a ton of money and it supports your endpoint security. We're going to talk about how it all does that and how it's disruptive and how iGel can help you right now. All right, let's think about a typical office environment. Even though, if we're really honest, the more typical office environment right now looks like this. But let's think when hopefully normality returns and we can get back to the offices. You have lots of PCs and laptops or thin clients performing tasks. And these endpoints need to be managed, secured, and patched. The bigger the organization, the more computers you have, the more administrators you need. Or do you? iGoOS converts any x86 device into a cloud workspace, including your existing hardware. We're talking about the stuff you've already paid for and the endpoints your users are familiar with. By doing this, you will unify all your endpoints under one management platform regardless of manufacturer, age, or form type. Enabling you to manage 100,000 endpoints with one single admin using one single console. Making that guy some kind of Bruce Lee, Michael Jordan hybrid. But what it also allows you to do, allows the rest of your IT team to work on projects that will help innovate, improve productivity, and make your organization more agile. By converting these endpoints to cloud workspaces, it means all the CPU processing and laborious tasks are now pulled from the cloud, extending the life of your hardware investments, meaning you no longer have to refresh those PCs and laptops every three or four years. This will save you a bundle of cash. And we're talking about the savings that will get people promoted. So that's a nice feature to think about, bringing IT up to be more productive and saving money at the same time, but we're not quite yet there yet. We still have end users working from kitchen tables or on the sofa, potentially using their own devices, adding their own software onto unknown networks with potentially an exposed operating system. Hardly worth thinking about. However, this does not have to be the case. I'd like to introduce you to the iGel UD Pocket, the world's smallest thin client. And you can plug this into any X86 device and temporarily turn it into a corporately managed cloud workspace. Let's have a look at it now. What we can see here is someone's personal computer with all their music, games, files, photos, everything you would expect to see. What we're gonna do is reboot this machine and add the UD pocket. 
the computer system will give you a choice of whether to reboot with the main system or reboot using our pocket. What this does is that it means it locks down the machine without affecting the operating system and any of the files that are on the original PC. So you'll enter the iGel workspace and it will connect to the internet and start talking to your cloud services. For this example, we are gonna use a Citrix environment. So right now it's talking to your machine and connecting to the internet and it will connect to uh, the Citrix demo environment. Citrix, the Citrix demo environment, the apps and works, apps and desktops um, program will then pull down all you need for your desktop. This can be configured in any way you want. So with Android technology, you can convert almost any laptop PC into corporate managed workspace in literally seconds. Right, so with iGel, you get a free slice of peace of mind. So it's not just UD Pocket, but any device running iGel OS has enterprise security built in. It's Linux based and read only. So the user cannot make changes or add their own software, making it extremely resilient to malware and other viruses. One last thing I wanted to talk about is the iGel ecosystem. iGel has over 100 technologies built into its operating system. What does that mean? Well, for one, there's no need for huge installs when you buy a new kit. But also, this software is updated in the back end in the cloud through iGel's update schedule. So it does not affect the endpoint every time you update. So no more compatibility testing. But you're safe in the knowledge you're always using the latest tools and the latest for the kit. I want to finish off here with a free, free, quick three-minute case study from a logistics company in the US where we saved them hundreds of thousands of dollars but simplified the way they ran their IT for their entire company across six continents. Thanks for listening today. Cheers. With the limited IT resources that we had, just being able to manage that environment um, from a day to day with, with tickets coming in, um, it was just really a nightmare to, to try to untangle all of that and keep a standard approach for management. We really just struggled with meeting those goals. Niobe is a uh, global leader in third-party logistics. Niobe Logistics corporate office is based in Irving, Texas, a suburb of uh, Dallas. We have 100 sites and uh, over six continents. So we work extensively in the automotive sector. Uh, for example, uh, you would um, take your car to a dealership, parts not available, uh, they submit the order, we would process the order, inbound it, scan it, uh, outbound it, and ship it out to the dealership. So, we manage over 100 locations globally, with each site being unique in its own way. Because of this, endpoint dissimilarity was a constant struggle for us. Uh, we had everything deployed from traditional distributed PCs to legacy thin clients. The impact of managing this environment with limited IT resources was a struggle for us. We brought our challenges in front of multiple vendors in the industry with the hopes of finding a solution that would right fit Neovia. What set iGel apart was the ability for them to convert our existing IT hardware investments. That was something that any other vendor could not do. Neovia has purchased a wide range of iGel solutions from the UD Pocket, the iGel OS, uh, UD2, UD3s, uh, all the way up to the cloud gateway, which allows us to manage those devices outside of our corporate network. Over 80% of our users depend on iGel to access business critical applications. These applications include Microsoft Office, SAP, and Sky for Business, all delivered through Citrix. The iGel OS has given our older hardware new life. Reliability and performance is up, boot times are quicker, and users are a lot more happy. Another benefit to iGel is security. The iGel OS is a Linux-based system that is read-only, which means our end users can't introduce any vulnerabilities or install software. Uh, we can really manage the solution centrally. Furthermore, the iGeoS is very flexible. We're always trying to find ways to implement it where we can. Recently, we converted all of our touchscreen wallboards at our warehouse sites um, over to iGeo. These wallboards display metrics uh, for the site performance. Um, they're used heavily in the warehouses. For me personally, the implementation of iGeo has truly freed me up from constantly managing different solutions. I've definitely shifted away from the drudgery of IT to focus on more important things. The decision to move forward with iGel 
uh, was very simple because of um, uh, the cost savings and uh, no uh, endpoint replacement or refresh. IGEL is now our new standard uh, moving forward, uh, which uh, will help us standardize, simplify, and automate our endpoint deployment.